Hey guys, this is Catnip2067, and this is episode 2 of Let's Play FTB Infinity. So what I'm doing now is I've been gathering some resources, and I got a bunch of stuff. I got some diamonds and redstone, things we needed to make our machines. And um, I have started doing that. I've got, I'm using the Sterling Generator, and that's from Ender.io. I feel like that's going to be my best bet for starting out. I hope so. Um, oh dear. We do not want dark in here. I'm trying to get it set up with... Uh, I got the furnace here. So what I want to do is I want the furnace... Let's see, where's my pulverizer? I got a sawmill, a pulverizer, and a furnace right now. So I'm going to put the pulverizer here. I'm going to take this down. I'm going to put this on top of the furnace. Because what I want to do is I want to feed the ores into the furnace and then... No, no, no. No, that's completely wrong. <laughs> okay, I want to feed the ores into the pulverizer and then all the pulverized stuff to go into the furnace get smelted and then drop into this box. Oh dear, another dark spot. Okay. Let's uh, make sure we got plenty of light. The zombies are out there, but they're after the villagers. So, I think we're safe. Um, okay, so let's get... We want a hopper going into this chest. Yeah. Because it's going to go, and then we want, uh, I took that down. We want a hopper going here. And then, of course, I should put a hopper on top of the furnace, too, because then if there's stuff that we want to smelt up or cook or whatever, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, this stuff is complicated. Complicated. Okay, so then the sawmill will, of course, go here. Yeah. And I should probably put... A, ooh, I'm out of wood. Yeah, I'm going to need that sawmill as soon as I go cut some wood. So we'll get, we'll get that set up in a bit. Alright, so right now I want to set this up so that my stuff gets pulverized here. And then all the pulverized stuff goes into, which let me put uh, the stuff that's already pulverized in there. Are you not lighting up? Okay, we want to set this to an output here. Is red output? Yes, red is, I think red's output, blue's input, I believe. So the top we want blue? Yeah, there we go. And it's going into the chest. Nice. Okay. So then we want to set this up so that this is not coming out of here. You know, there's some stuff I'm not going to want to go into the furnace. So I might set up a... Because, like, sometimes I do uh, sand. You can put... You can put cobblestone in there and get sand. And sometimes you need sand, but you don't want it smelted into glass. So I think what I'll do is I'll set up a separate one for stuff that we don't want to go into the furnace. Because I've tried to set this up where I did both and I would forget to change the output and it, stuff I didn't want to get smelted would get smelted and it was just just a pain. So I think I'll set up a separate pulverizer for that kind of thing. So right now we'll just set this up to be everything that goes in here will get smelted. Okay, so we've got, let me see, we've got the top as input, and then we need the right side as output. But I want, do I want both of these? No. Maybe I can set that up to go into a box. Yeah. I set that up to go into the bottom, that might be better. 
because I'm not sure what all the byproducts are and if you want all that stuff smelted. I'll have to find out. But let's just do it like that just in case for right now. All right, let's see. Let's let's try this out and see if this is working. All right, it's going in and it's not going out. Okay, it's not going Oh, wait a minute. That's maybe that's because I don't have this set up. Okay, now. There we go. Yeah. I'm trying to get these these little configuration things figured out. But now we don't Oh, now we don't have power because we don't have any coal in there. We got to put coal in there. And I'm going to have a better power source later. This is early game, so we are using coal. All right, this is working. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's working. That's working fine. So that's wait a minute. That's supposed to be anything up there is supposed to be coming in too. So do I change that to no? That's input. So this would be blue as well. It's just that that is something different than what's going in there. So. Probably it'll eventually go in there. Let's we'll, we'll leave it in there and wait and see. All right, the sawmill. Don't think anything that comes out of that I want to get pulverized. So I think everything that comes out of there is going to come down into a box here. But I will need a I will need a hopper up there to put things into that. So we'll do that. We'll step up. Okay, and I think this will be a pretty good start. This will get us started. Hey, we're coming along. We are moving into machinery now, so we've moved up. I did have to do, I made the grindstone because I found out you can use this grindstone not just for quartz, but also for other ores. So I had, uh, oh, let me get that out of there. You have to sit here and just hold down right click and hand grind ores, which is great to get started to help double your ores, it, but you really want to get a pulverizer as soon as possible because, oh my gosh, it is like, you have to have a lot of patience. Okay, so that works pretty good. So I gotta cut some more wood for sure. Let's see, that's iron. Yeah, we gotta cut some more wood. I need some more boxes and get these outputs set up. And then I gotta figure out what other machines I need. And Base Meg is sick, bless his heart, so he has not been doing any mining. He is not feeling well. So when he gets to feeling better, we'll have a whole lot more stuff going on. And so I, I went down and found, um, I did find four diamonds. I've picked up an emerald, some redstone, a few things. Um, found out the yellow right is for the reactors. So I definitely want to try that later. That sounds really cool. I'm excited about that. Um, let's see, what else do we want to do? I've, oh, I made my thermometer and my wand. I'm going to start doing my thumbcraft stuff. I want to get over there in that uh, magical forest and start building my castle. But we need to get some resources going first, I think. All right, let's see. Now, is this accepting? Yes. Okay. So yeah, that worked too. So if I, anything I put in there will go into the furnace. Anything that goes in here will get smelted and then go into the furnace. And you are doing your thing, right? Doing your thing. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, and you get double ores when you pulverize it. It's... Any ores you get, you know you got two for everyone, so that's nice. And let's see, what else have we got going on? Alright, so... I've got to go do some wood cutting. That's boring. You don't want to watch that. Um, let me go cut some wood and I'll be right back and we'll try out the sawmill. Okay, I've got about a half a stack of wood. 
and um, it's getting dark, so I'm going to go on back in. Let's see what we got. Alright, so if we put this wood, let's see, we want this to be an input. Blue is input, right? Yes, blue is input. Oh, you can hear it too. I don't know if you can hear it. Sounds like a sawmill. It's pretty cool. Oh, and you can take this sawdust and it's eight of them. You put it in a circle in a crafting grid and you get compressed sawdust, which you can turn into coal, charcoal, which is kind of neat. A little byproduct from the sawmill. Oh, wow. Look at all the wood we're getting. You get six planks for one log. So you get a lot more. A lot more for your wood. So if you hate cutting wood, you need a sawmill. It's great. So, Alright, so we got some wood. I love the little effects. Let's see. I need to bring a crafting table down there. Alright, let's make some boxes. Make some boxes. And we've got one more. I might have to make... Let me make another. Ah, the iron's down there. Yeah. Let me grab this. Yeah, let's grab this. Take you down here. Alright. Now. Oh, it's like this. Yeah, let's make another. Make another hopper. See what we can do. All right. Okay. So this. Do we want anything coming? We want. Okay. We got tin dust. We want that smelted. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if anything's gonna come out of there that we don't want smelted. So let's see if we can change that. So that it goes. Okay. If we turn that off. And then do like that. Will they both go out? How does that work? Oh, that one's going out. So maybe I have to do like that. How do, how do you do that? How do I get both of these to go out to the right? Or is that even possible? I don't want it going out the bottom. Maybe that does both. So I don't want anything going. And we still got stuff coming in here? Or is it all staying in there now? Oh, that's the furnace. That's yeah, that's not coming out. That's not coming out. I don't know. I have to look into that. Okay. So, I need to put a chest... Did I want to put a chest there? I don't really need a chest there, do I? No. I need a chest here. Which, I might need one there because... You know, I just might because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get... Oh, I'm going to have to make the... I gotta look how to do that. That other chest. These should be iron chests. I forgot about that too. Okay, let's see. Let's make... Let's turn this one off. Let's make this one red. Okay. There we go. So that's coming out. So then we'll just have to... What are you doing in there? You're supposed to be getting pulverized. Yeah, and then we'll, this will be all of our byproduct stuff, so that's, I guess that's no big deal. Eventually we'll have an ME system, hopefully. Now i got to figure out how to make the, why don't I just make all of these iron chests? That would be easier, because we have the iron, we have lots of iron, get all that out of there, so yeah, why don't we do that? 
Let me make iron chests. I think you just do this. Yeah. Turn all of you guys into iron chests. Yeah. And then we do this red. coming out now? Yeah, and some of the wood too. That's not good. Put that wood back in there. Okay, it's taking everything out. It's putting everything in there. And the dust is probably in there waiting. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we can put all of our wood in there and it'll all come out here. So I'm going to take all of this stuff out, and I'm going to, oh that's still doing its thing there. We're going to turn you into an iron chest. Yeah, I think there's a way to make an upgrade and put on there, but for right now I think this is just easier. love that iron farm. Nims Toots. He is awesome. You guys gotta check him out. I left a link to his iron farm, the tutorial, his tutorial, in the episode one of the series. So if you are interested in that, you can go check him out. He's, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, pretty smart. Pretty smart. Alright, so this is all going to go... This will all end up being... No, that's the pulverizer, so that's not all going to end up being ingots. All the ingots will end up in here. This is going to be ingots, and I'll just throw this in here, and that should smelt that up. Yeah, very good, very good. Awesome. So make sure, I need to put some signs on this stuff to make sure he doesn't smelt ores. Yeah, I should probably put some signs that say, put ore here. Maybe I should have done that in reverse. Yeah. Because then, yeah, you know what? I should do that in reverse. Put the pulverizer there and the furnace there. So that way I could have, if I decide I want, um, if I need to make like charcoal or something, I could just send the, uh, well, you have to put straight logs in there. You can't do... Yeah, so that's not really going to matter. So we'll just leave it like that. That's right. It's a shame you can't do that with planks. You could get a whole lot more charcoal that way. But we'll be able to get charcoal out of uh, this stuff. Let's see. With that, you take and you do this. And this. I mean, can we get... We can get four. Okay, so there's four. And then we can just throw those up there. And look, there you go, charcoal. How cool is that? So we can use that to help supplement our energy source here a little bit. So that's pretty neat, pretty neat. Okay, so that's our wood. This is uh, byproducts from the pulverizer and this is our uh, ingots and charcoal. So. Oh, and now I can also make sand. And I need to make some sand because I am so sick of running around looking for sand to make glass with. Sick, sick, sick. So we'll make up some glass because that's going to make glass. Let's go in there and just make uh, glass. And uh, over here is where I'm going to set up, I'll set up another pulverizer because sometimes I need sand and I don't want it turned into glass and stuff like that. So we'll do that. So I got to make up some more machines and I need to know what other machines do I need. I've got, like I said, I got a furnace, pulverizer, and a sawmill. I'm thinking I need a sag mill. And I need to look through and see what else, because there's some pretty cool stuff that uh, 
and do some great stuff for me. And hopefully in the next episode, we're going to go adventuring and looking for meteors. Um, I'm hoping I can get my son to get on here and help me. He He's a lot more adventurous than me. He's 11. So... <laughs> And he likes to play Minecraft, but normally when he plays with me, he just likes to terrorize me. He'll find some way to, to scare me, because I scare easily, and he thinks that's fun. But hopefully I can convince him to come on and help me find some meteors. Because we're going to have to probably venture far and wide for that. I found the main things I want, like the magical forest, tainted biome, a village... But we're going to have to have meteors if we're ever going to get our ME stuff going. So hopefully we'll, we'll find some. And so th hopefully that's what we'll be doing in the next episode. And then in the meantime, I'm going to try to get come up with some more machines that I think we need and get those set up. And see how this is going to look. This is going to be the um, storage area down here. Basement's working on that big storage area which will eventually be hard drives yeah hard drives and um, go on some adventures build some cool technical stuff we're gonna do some magical stuff I think we should do uh, some botany botania yeah to get the glint weeds no that's the witchery botania we need I'll tell you why we need botania I for the ME system I made an it it do, it automates the seeds where the seeds have to drop into the water where there is an an open crate that you have to use living wood to make so we'll have to get into botania to do that that's pretty early it's real easy to do and we'll make an open crate and you can hook up an interface to that open crate and drop seeds into it and it'll automatically drop seeds into the water and that way you don't have to hook up droppers with redstone and I mean it's just it's so much easier it automatically drops them into the water without having to do droppers or dispensers or anything like that so I'll show you guys that when I get that going we gotta find some meteors first and um, hopefully we'll get this rolling so thanks for watching hope to see you in the next episode bye for now <laughs>